Hi guys, Pitch Perfect here, back playing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallow Part 1. So the game has uh, skipped forward a little bit and we are now at uh, Bill and Fleur's wedding and uh, I'm just going to go have a quick look around. Oh, the bird looks really pretty. It's like the stained glass window. It's really nice. Blimey! Oh. It seems Looney runs in the jeans. Who is that? Luna's father, Xenophilius. We should say hello. He supported Harry all through the summer when the prophet's been ignoring the truth. Besides, it might be the last chance we get to speak to Luna. It's strange, thinking everyone will be back at Hogwarts without us. To cast four points. Press circle any time to cast four points and learn where to go next. I see, so it kind of shows your path. That's interesting. Right, well, okay. If you want us to go speak to him, we can do that, certainly. It's very pretty. I suppose everything's done up from the wedding. Oh, look at the lights. Oh, that's lovely. I quite like the music as well, it's quite folksy. It's very nice. Calm and relaxed. It's lovely. But uh, yeah, we'll go talk to. Um, uh, Lovegood, because I'm not even going to pretend to know how to say his first name. Hello, Mr. Lovegood. Ah, I trust you know, Mr. Potter, that we at the Quibbler fully supported Dumbledore during his lifetime, and in his death, support you just as fully. Uh, thanks. Is Luna with you? She lingered in that charming little garden. Such a glorious infestation of gnomes. Or, to give them their correct name, the Gernumbly Gardensi. You might want to congratulate Mr. Weasley on them. He was looking for you just now. Thanks. Yeah, I will. Okay, so I best go find Mr. Weasley. I would quite like to talk, speak to Luna, but I guess I could speak to Mr. Weasley. Is he in, his, in the shed? Does that work? Nope. Okay, but he is this way. Can I run? None of the buttons are allowing me to run. I think we shall walk then. <laughs> Mr. Weasley must be up there. Where do we even start to look for the Horcruxes? We don't even know what they look like. Well, Dumbledore managed to find two. He destroyed the ring and found the locket. Yeah, but that was a fake, wasn't it? But it looked like the real one. Somewhere there's the real locket. The real Horcrux. And that's where we'll start. With the locket. A friend of mine went to Bull Baton with her. Is he still this way? Why isn't he um, in the tent? It's his son's wedding. He is in a shed, son. I was just looking at the wrong one. No. Yes. Found you. Found you! What are you doing out here? Mr. Weasley, did you want to speak to us? Ah, yes. Yes, I did. You see, it turns out that. Dumbledore left you things in his will. Huh. All of us? Yes. To you, Ron, he left his Deluminator. <laughs> to Hermione, his copy of the Tales of Beedle the Bard. <laughs> and to you, Harry, he left the snitch you caught in your first Quidditch match. He also left you the Sword of Godric Gryffindor. But the Ministry is insisting the sword wasn't Dumbledore's to give away. Not that it matters, because no one can find the sword anyway. Did he say what these were for? I'm afraid he didn't. Now, why don't you pop those up to your rooms and come down to the party? We have a wedding to celebrate, don't we? My mum used to read me the tales of Beedle the Bard. How are children's stories supposed to help us find the Horcruxes? Dunno. Maybe Dumbledore just wanted to cheer us up. Do you think all these things are a clue? Ah. Uh... There's supposed to be fireworks before the wedding. The Ministry has fallen. The Minister of Magic is dead. <sighs> they are coming. Okay, we need to get out of here. Get into cover! Ah. Quickly! Behind there! Okay. 
don't remember this in the story. <laughs> Stupefy! Quickly! Hide! I'm just thinking how strange it was that they got the object from Dumbledore's will from Mr. Weasley and not from the Minister of Magic because in the book and the film he uh, turns up to the sparrow to read out the will and give them the object. So that's a bit strange. Benefit of experience? What experience? Super fast! Have I gained some kind of experience? Super fast! Okay, I am a little bit better at this than when we're in the air. It's a little bit easier. So. That's good, that makes me feel better. Because I really struggled when we were moving. Take the down. But now that I've got a little bit of cover, I feel a little bit better. It's the wedding tent. Okay, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Dad must be in the tent. I came that way, but I'm going to take the escape back. Wait, 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 wait. Cover, cover, cover. Oh, I can get. I do have a protective level. I need to get in. No, 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 the wearing cover. Right? Is that cover? Whoa, whoa, what does that do? Okay, that's my choice of spell. So I only have two spells. Uh, there you go! Yeah, I was a bit stupid to just run out mid battle. I was trying to get into some cover but I couldn't really see any. Oh I have to start from yeah, again. Oh. Oh. My spells are now more powerful. Okay, why? Oh, let's go with it. I'm not standing in the open mining. I'm Look, I'm behind the hay barrel. I have hidden. So last one. Okay. Next time, well, next time when I get to this bit, I am going to try and find some cover with the wall here. Give that a go. Stupid so I guess you need to constantly be on the lookout for cover in this game, just so you know where the next place to hide in, so that you never stop in the open, because it does make sense, so. Okay, I'm keeping my eye out for places that I can stay and be protected. Seems sensible. Protego! Oh, I can hold that as well. That's cool. So I can keep that as long as I need it. That's interesting. Dad must be in the tent. Stupefy! 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 I don't think you know who's coming, do you? I hope not. I really hope not, Ron. Stupid boss! <laughs>
Aquasis. New spell unlocked. Impedimenta. R2 to cast. Okay, so I can get a long burst. That's cool. Have I actually... Okay, let's give, let's give that a go. Which I like stupefy, let's give it a go. Harry, we should go, mate. Right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye.